Hello everybody, welcome back to CNS Corvettes in Sarasota, Florida. This is your Corvette buddy Lyle here to talk to you about more exciting, interesting, and hopefully fun Corvette stuff. Before we get started today, uh, I've been told by a bunch of my people online that have called me even and emailed saying that they aren't getting the videos even though they're subscribed. Now I checked into this and the uh, YouTube's algorithm has changed slightly and uh, several other YouTubers have talked about this too where even though you're subscribed, for whatever reason, it has unsubscribed you. So if you are a subscriber to our channel, and if you are, I thank you very much, please double check and make sure that the, subscribe, the subscription button is still active, because if it's not, you're not gonna be alerted when we come out with new content. Uh, so just check that for me. And if you haven't subscribed yet, this would be an excellent time to do so. Thanks. Now, let's get into today's topic. And uh, it's pretty interesting. It's about C6 Corvettes with automatic transmissions, why they get stuck in park, and how to fix it. It's a well-known problem with C6 Corvette automatics that they get stuck in park, especially as the cars age. What happens is there's a locking pole that keeps that shifter locked in place, and unless the solenoid that moves that locking pole gets a signal from the car saying that you are putting your foot on the brake pedal and everything's as it should be, it's not going to come out of park. This has been a problem for a long time and up until now there really hasn't been a solution for this problem other than going into the shifter and taking that locking pawl and zip tying it back out of the way. Some people even cut them out, which we never did, so that you can get your car out of park anytime you want to. The downside of that is it also means that with that lock pawl out of the way, your shifter is never actually locked into park. So at any time, car running or not, you can pull your shifter out of park into neutral, your car can roll down a hill, and you know, just all kinds of mayhem could occur. So we've been anxiously awaiting somebody to come up with a solution to this that was actually a workable solution. And we were contacted by a small engineering firm who love Corvettes, who actually made the solution to this problem. And what we found out was that it isn't the solenoid that goes bad in the shifter. So the solenoid still forward, backward, no problem. The problem is the solenoid isn't getting the signal because there are two micro switches at the front of your shifter that tell the car the car is in park and that the shifter, that the lock pawl is in place and those switches go bad. When those switches go bad, your car's not getting the information it needs to release the shifter from the park position. Now, I'm gonna go into this in detail and show you deeply how this works, but I'm just trying to give you a basic explanation. The good news is, this is no longer an unsolvable problem. Uh, this company has manufactured a custom-built wiring harness, in fact, this is it right here. These are the micro switches right here. This is your light bulb socket for the shifter indicator. And these are the plugs going back into the harness of the car. Completely done, right? You don't need to do anything else. This is plug and play. You take the old version of this out, you put the new version of this in, problem solved. And now there's several improvements that have been made on this. And when we do our deep dive into the shifter here in a minute or two, I will be showing you exactly how this works where it's located and give you the basics on how to replace it. There'll be a full how-to video coming in the relatively near future. So let's talk about the shifter. Okay guys, so this is a brand new C6 shifter that I bought from GM specifically to show you guys how this stuff works. Uh, let's talk about some of the main parts of the shifter. So this here is the shifter solenoid and it's, it has a rod that goes up to and I highlighted it with white paint, this is the moving lock pawl that keeps your shifter in park. And you'll notice, let me get close here, you have a micro switch here and a micro switch here. When those switches wear out, then none of this information is making its way through this wire down here and back into your car. So the plan is, when you're doing this job, these little switches snap into this square plastic plate, which you can actually just pop out of here. And there are two pins in each location 
that these slide onto and snap into place. You can't screw it up. So you go through to remove this. All of these wires are kind of woven in through all these plastic clips here. And what you do is just carefully remove all those, pop this plate off, pop these switches out, and then simply in reverse with the new improved switches, snap those two into place. You'll notice that the yellow and white wire is at the top of the shifter. This is the front end toward your engine. Yellow and white wire at the top, orange and blue at the bottom. Of course, this comes with full instructions, but just so you're aware. And these switches, you see how they're just metal tabs and there's a tiny, tiny little micro switch right here. Just to give you an idea, let me grab the other, the new harness. And you can see these switches actually have little rollers on them. These are, let me get back here. There you go. New rollers on them. These are highly upgraded switches. They're far better quality than what came from GM. In fact, uh, I've sold about 20 of these so far and uh, without even talking about them, just to other people in the business. And what they're doing, these are guys who are buying new shifters from GM and what they're doing before they even offer them for sale, they're putting the new switch harness in it so that the things will actually work because they're having failure rates pretty high on these brand new right now. So that's basically it. Let me go through this one more time. When you push your brake pedal, that tells the computer checks to make sure this switch and this switch are in the proper location that they're both closed that then sends a signal to the solenoid the solenoid pivots the lock pawl out of the way and once that happens this switch activates and lets you pull the shifter out of the way that's how this works so the, all you have to do is remove it and i said a full video will be coming but just to give you an idea um, then you just replace the harness. Now, you'll notice there's a hole here and a hole here. That's where the snaps for the framework that goes around this that holds your shifter boot and all of your other things that snap onto here. This, the, accessing this is really easy. And again, I'll do that in the full video. But that whole thing lifts off and you have access to all of this. But that's where this goes and that's what that does. So that basically is how the shifter lockout switching system works, and that is all the main pieces of it. If you have other questions, by all means, in the comments below, ask the questions. I'll answer them as quickly as possible. Uh, these switches, assemblies, these harnesses are going to be available on our website, CorvettePartsCenter.com, link in the description below. They are going to be $155 delivered to your door anywhere in the United States. If you live outside the country and you need this, please message me below or email me and I can get you a shipping quote. We can go that way. So that's where we're at with that. I am very excited about this because it actually solves problems. CNS Corvettes has always focused on products that solve problems like our horn contacts for the C5 and other things that GM just really never addressed. And we were so excited when this engineering company reached out to us to be the distributor for this new product. So if you have questions, comment below email me whatever you need to do i'll help you however i can but i very much appreciate you guys watching and, and uh, look forward to seeing you in the future thank you